designing the structure of something on a computer. Building and inventing stuff. Working together with other people and making ideas to solve problems. I think engineering is um, like a firefighter. Works to solve problems to make the city or town a better place for the people who live in it. Can I just need to make sure that all the buildings around us and all like the bridges and pretty much everything that's built is safe for us. Like plans, like where a house's rooms are going to be. Parts, mechanical parts, and then he builds engines and machines that uh, help us progress. Uh, mathematics, because you have to make sure everything is uh, like proportionate or else your structure may fall. Creative in what they're doing. I think an engineer needs to have good mathematics and science skills. Digging out fires. Engineer is good at being under pressure because it's like there's a lot of pressure. You have to make sure it's safe. You have to make sure that there's force or anything that it doesn't topple down because that's dangerous. Problem solving and being creative. Engineers are good at like working together so they can make ideas and they're really good at hands on stuff. I think they're good at building stuff. Honestly, depends on the person because everybody's different. Everybody can be like bad at something. I don't really know. Probably sports. Anybody can be an engineer. Pretty much, like any person, it doesn't matter who you are, mm -hmm. because like there are so many like topics in engineering that anybody like with any passion can pretty much like be an engineer. The computer right here, and she has like a lot of information on the computer about what the expectations are for her to build. I think anybody could become an engineer, but if they, if they, if they put their mind to it, they could they put a lot of hard work and dedication. I think anybody could become an engineer. I drew like a guy with the hard hat, um, and then he has like the green, like the green vest. Thing with in that orange shiny part, and then here he has like a belt with all his tools. So he has a screwdriver in his hand. He has like a belt around him that holds like uh, screws or whatever he might need on the job. I think it's been really good. It's been nice because one of the things we did is we had our first experience with our engineer in the classroom and we just looked at the broad variety as I was mentioning of different types of engineering and so we had the kids and we broke them into parts and we we had them look at you know the computer engineering and, and looking at programs and we had them looking at the structural and the mechanical and a little bit of electrical. It's a unique partnership between engineers, educators such as myself and the engineering industry and it certainly brings real world experience to the teaching of science and technology and mathematics and it's uh, an absolutely wonderful program to have in schools. I think my students have really benefited from meeting engineers and bringing guest speakers into the classroom and bringing the curriculum to life. I think that we can connect the, um, the, the learning of engineering now with a story that belongs to a person that we know. And I think that makes it more accessible uh, for students and makes it easier for them to imagine themselves as engineers.